Hello friends, my name is Virendra and today I am going to share my graphic design process. I created this Ardi Burman's portrait on his birthday occasion and I tried to follow the art style from an artist who is, whose name is Veda Abdul Rashid who is from Indonesia. I love his portraits because he has a unique style, unique colorful shape and it portrays the character of that portrait and also the person and also it has some rhythm, it has some uh, story behind it. So I, I was fascinated by his artwork. I have created new document in Illustrator and I am just trying to find the reference file. Uh, by the way, I found these reference files from internet. Um, I searched R.D. Burman on the Google and found this image. Uh, I don't know who is the copyright owner of this image, but I hope it is okay. Key behind the reference, uh, creating these references is uh, you should have clear contrast in your image like this one this one and it should be high res image so you can track down the shapes correctly uh, it should have a key sign pose or some character of that uh, person uh, in this case there is a spec which is he is famous and which is common in his all photos so i am choosing this one i created this black and white image using gradient map I prefer this method because it gives more control and uh, you can adjust the levels as you want. Uh, of course, uh, levels panel also gives that control, but I am preferring this because it's a different person. Whenever I am happy with this, I am going to take this into illustrator. So I am saving the image right now uh, as a reference and let's move to the illustrator. I am replacing current image with the new replacement and I am adjusting the artboard size according to this proportion just to make sure that I have neat clean document. So this is it. Now I am just making this layer as a template layer so I can uh, lock that layer and refer it into wireframes also and that is why only I made this a little bit darker side because illustrator makes it lighter when you make a layers template and it fades out a bit. So now I am taking pen tool and starting off. I have pinned out the pen tools set and fill tool but I am just trying to start off with the paint tool first. I generally start from the eyeballs because it is the smallest part and uh, what I am going to do here is uh, I am just trying to uh, shape up all the complex part first and then out I am coming out from the complex part to simpler parts and uh, adjust the levels. First I am starting with the eyeball highlights and then the darker part, then lighter part and so on. So what I am going to uh, follow the keyboard shortcuts is uh, I am just going to draw a shape 
and then a bigger shape then put it into back side of last shape so it's just just like create a shape put it to back create a shape put it to back and so on so this way i am achieving all the uh, smaller details in front and larger details on the back occasionally i am going to adjust the object uh, and it's just part of your preferences see i'm just using that so it's like a, a creative process i'm just starting off with the basic core shape i'm just going to what my strategy here is i'm just filling up all the big shapes first and then divide them into various uh, parts to create a graphical distortion here i am simplifying the shape to leave all the curves created by knife tool uh, which i used for dividing shape and now i am selecting my own palette which is busy bone palette i think and i am using it for a uh, clear color definitions which will help me to create fast tones as this is not going to print so i am using busy bone color palette if it's going to print you can use pentones or cmyk tool generally i use cmyk document uh, to keep uh, everything safe and printable so it is the only thing that uh, one should consider because you can convert cmyk document easily to rgb but when you go vice or reverse you have you may have problems i have faced those in last couple of years so i am just preferring that uh, cmyk is good for starting off that new work work so here i am see i am i just cut it out with the knife tool and then simplified it with a simplify tool this way i am blocking all the key shapes which are making his face unique and uh, i'm just filling up all the shapes first which i feel that make character of this portrait i'm just adjusting all the tones also because i'm uh, i think that these tones make the portrait more alive than colors which is the theory of artist Actually, this method is just a play of your mind. An artist can just enjoy all the process, and uh, once you are done, you feel satisfaction uh, of creating your own whatever you think and whatever your decisions are, and it results into a good portrait or artwork. And it's kind of a play for a graphic art. graphic artist or any artist so everyone can try this method it is very simple and unique way to explore the method i think every portrait is a new challenge because it has a uh, new shapes new style and new details
so now i'm i'm completing this spec uh, spec side and dividing it with knife tool and then i selected random shapes and using random colors to create something tangling feel i have used red above and darker cool shades below so that is creating some good contrast now i am adding little bit shape that create effect of hair and just little bit complex shape to create feel of that part creating these kind of portraits is actually a fun for an graphic artist you really enjoy the process and there is no restriction on you that you should use these colors and that color and uh, use skin tone or something else to achieve realistic effect nothing is important here you just need to create a correct shapes and good contrast is must and i'm checking how it's coming out by hiding reference and really until you have completed 70 to 75% of your portrait you really don't get an idea how it will turn out so it's kind of a tricky artwork style but you really enjoy it whenever you attempt this and i think every artist should must should try it uh, once in a while to enjoy this process now i'm just tracing out all the shapes with close color tones in the reference using various colors i'm trying out various shades and you need to keep an eye which tone you are using which shape are you, you are using you need to keep trying various shapes and shades you may find that this video is you is trying various color shades after finalizing the shape or style of the shape but i am trying various combinations over there and trying out which fits the best for that part i generally i have found that cool colors fit well in shadow part so i am choosing the those in shadow part so this is highlight of spec trying to make it more 3d with this shadow
so i'm just speeding up this process now more and uh, let's see the whole process and finalize result
Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.